We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. With Maxwell Silverham. We are nothing sacred. With cruise control. We are nothing sacred. Sacred. Oh, yes, bitches. And yes, bitches. <laughs> it's the Nothing Sacred Show. Yes. First show in August, bitches. First show in August. Fucking yeah. August fucking uh, 7th, be, 2000. Yeah, well, actually, it'll go up August 8th, right? Yeah, who knows? So, <laughs> anyway, I'm Maxwell <laughs> Silverhammer. And I am Cruise Control, and we're doing our little fucking one-on-one. We don't. We haven't done this like as much as we used to. I uh, no, no, because we've had a lot of interviews yeah, yeah, and a lot of other shit yeah, going on. Exactly. We got so, shit going on, man. Yeah, so. exactly. We're rolling. Actually, that was a that was a thing I was thinking of this week, man. You know, thinking back to the shit that irks me days, like we were always beefing with motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like there was always some bullshit where we, we had some kind of issue with someone mm-hmm. or we were going at somebody or whatever. Where lately, man, with nothing sacred. It's been more like positive shit, you know, like we had Sam Wagmeister on, you know, promoting awareness. We've been making some pretty kick ass, you know, or even if even if it is uh, something that's that's like negative, it's not it's, it's, it's negative in a, like a specific way, like stop doing this. OK, right. 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 Well, in other right. words, we're, we're doing more. I don't know, man. It just seems like it's more positive now as opposed yeah. to back then. You know, it was always we were always going at somebody or talking shit or you know, oh, we'll send this fucking show to this person and they'll show what fuck faces you are, you know, or whatever. So, well, yeah. it's also, also, uh, obviously, since we've been doing more interviews with these uh, uh, people in terms of uh, uh, DMT or first responders and stuff like that, yeah. we are, you know, you're building uh, more of a trust with them. And so you're like, like, you know, fuck it, this is really good. Like, this is something that you really do actually fucking believe in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And it's not. It's not just like a show thing. Like a uh, nothing. Not not to go against the rap artists we've had on the show. Right. But when you're dealing with people who are going through post traumatic stress disorder and they don't get the help they need, that's some real shit. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or or you know what the whole guardian fraud thing. I mean, yeah. I didn't know shit about that. You know, and, and all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, this is this is serious. So you know, it's uh, it's that's been very cool man we've had i I think we've stepped it up stepped it up in terms of what we believe in. what we both believe in again is yes law enforcement is needed yep and yes there are people that are better suited to it than excuse me myself and Mm -hmm. you are uh for for different reasons Uh, right for you like i said if you if you were excited you would be a total fucking god oh yeah oh yeah so for me it's just a it's a vision thing you know but but for me it's not for me it's like i don't want to see dead bodies on the freeway <laughs> right <laughs> so yeah i don't yeah it just seems it just, just seems more positive now I, I don't know it's weird and, and and we're doing it for free my nigga yeah, right we're doing it because we like to do it yep that's it that's the only reason kids yep yep go fuck yourselves oh whoa, whoa, why don't you get a no. why don't you monetize those videos man we uh. can make money you know well that's a headache <laughs> you know, and not only that, but it, it, it causes issues with friendships too. It just, yeah, it's bullshit. Anytime you bring money in it, it, it turns retarded or some kind of other bullshit status. But, yeah, so let's let's keep going. So okay, well, speaking of first responders, all right. So you know that Live PD is back on. Um, although it's it's now being called On Patrol Live, and I looked because you know there is a Reels channel because it's on Reels now, and uh, it's. Uh, it's, they play it on reels every uh, Friday and Saturday night from, well, you know, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, anyway, I've, I've been trying to see if I can watch it on Amazon. And it's if I looked, and apparently you can't stream it. The only thing you can do is you can go to, like, direct and get a, a fucking, you know, I think they'll give you a seven-day free trial membership. And after that, it's like 69-something you know, a Ridiculous. month, yeah. which I'm not fucking going to do. You know? No, not for that. No, hell no. And then, uh, you know, apparently Roku doesn't stream it either. 
So yeah, dude, it's kind of like, it, to me, I almost see it as a setup to fail. Like, oh, it's almost like a let them eat cake situation. Like, oh, all right, we'll let you put your show back on, but ho, 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 guess what? You're going to lose half your viewership because a lot of them did what I did, you know, once they pulled it off the first time yeah. and said, oh, fuck this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my cable or my dish or my whatever I have, you know? So yeah, I'm not actually sure. Actually, find out how much they're getting up ratings and stuff right now. Yeah, you know, that would be interesting to see how it, how it's looking right now. I mean, what was it, it called? It's uh, called On Patrol Live. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what uh, how it's looking because it's only been on for what two weeks now, I think. So, but uh, yeah, it's it, to me, it just looks like a set, like a set them up to fail type deal where you know because there, like I said, there is a real channel on. Um, Amazon and they got everything up there, but, uh, on patrol live. So, um, you know, and I've done that with ID, you know, where I have a subscription to them on their Amazon channel. And, and I, uh, or get- big ratings, the live PD successor on, on patrol live scores, big ratings. I've got oh. a, a fucking, uh, yep. it well, says, uh, on patrol live, the follow up with to reality hit series live PD. Uh, opened strongly on Friday with night despite a technical glitch. Uh, uh, the uh, political action series airs on Reels channel. R E E L. Yeah, Reels. But uh, having previously been a hit for A and E, was the number one show on cable on Friday in the twenty-five to fifty-four demo. With that, that's basically what they're the, the, the core demo they want. The, the, yeah, the demographics they were going. This they comes got. after the show has to push to start time by 73 minutes as a result of technical problems. Real wow. That is actually going to be really good. Because <laughs> on Saturday, it scored an even larger audience between 9 p.m. and midnight on the East Coast, averaging 403,000 uh, in the same demo. Which is a lot for a Saturday night on the East Coast when you're talking about, like, we're not talking about like watching uh, NBC, ABC. You know, no, or some show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. So basically, this show is kicking ass. Well, that's good. I'm glad, but the thing is, it just sucks that I I can't watch it. You know, I mean, it's like, fuck. You know, why don't you guys just have it on Amazon? People, you probably make more money. <laughs> you know, but instead, you have to you either stream it on direct something something whatever it is direct tv.com or be a way for you to get that i don't, I don't want to work into it uh on the show but yeah yeah that's a, fine there may be a way i can find to, to you to get that i mean i would i would love to you know because i don't want to have to go over to sharon's to watch it <laughs> that's that's not uh not what i want to do so still, yeah that's, that's pretty interesting though that, that that it's back on and you can actually watch it and now people are really getting into it it's like really it's it's it's, it's 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 a, a, a rating set basically. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a group on Facebook. Um, it was called you know Live PD fans or something like that. Now it's called On Patrol Live, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of people posted in there. That just goes to show you how much that you know it, it was dumb to even pull it off in the first place. Just some more, you know. Yeah, because uh, people love this. It was a very popular show before. Yeah, yeah. And now people are coming back to it with this new. Uh, uh, version of it. So. Well, and I think too, the reason they're not calling it Live PD like it used to be, uh, from my understanding, I think A&E has taken the name and not let them use it, which is fucking bullshit too. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's another thing. So, <clears throat> you still there, man? Oh, I'm right here. Oh, uh, okay. So what else you got, man? Well, and uh, here was here was another thing, and and dude, this is like with kids of today, you know. Here I'm gonna get my old man on, but uh, so Leopard was over cleaning a few weeks ago, and she made mention that her daughter's boyfriend, with the, I guess they call him Ham. I don't, I think that might be short for something like Hamilton or something. But anyway, they she goes, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Ham's Ham's scared of you, and I'm like, he's scared of me. You know, like I'm thinking, well, what, how, how would he, why would he be scared of me? So she's like, I don't know. I'll text my, my daughter and ask her. 
So, you know, her daughter's like 17 or whatever. So I'd say he's probably, I'm guessing probably 17 or 18, somewhere around that Yeah, which, neighborhood. which makes sense because anybody who would actually say they're scared of a human being. Yeah. Like, because I'm a scorer. Well, the reason was even stupider. I was like, apparently what happened was because uh, she texted her and she said, hey, why is Ham scared of Max? And so she texts back, oh, because all the crazy shit that he talks. And I'm like thinking, oh. Okay, you know, if I, at that age, man, if I met somebody that was talking shit, you know, they were my new best friend. Well, no, no, well, well the point is, like, you're he's obviously listening to the shit you're talking, yeah, so therefore, good. But otherwise, why don't you talk to the person themselves and then realize how life really works, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's like, like he's going, fuck you, Quero, for me. Right. Well, who knows? I may have been saying some some disgusting shit. Exactly. About- you could be saying whatever the fuck is on your mind during the show, which is your mind during the show. But yeah. that is not your mind when you're interacting with oh. a person individually. Oh, and, no, and this wasn't at the show. This was uh, when I was over at their house. Oh, I know. You but know. I'm saying the same thing with him. Like, yeah. Know. Yeah. I'm just hanging out, having fun. You know, we're just bullshitting. Well, hell, they were probably because, you know, they both smoke weed. So they were I think they're probably out there smoking and I was talking shit. So it's like I'm thinking, well, if you guys can blaze up the weed, then you guys are OK with, you know, shit talk. Obviously, you guys listen to hip hop, you know. So, yeah, I don't I don't know what the deal is. Actually, the same thing with her um, with Leopard's. Uh, what, what, what would that be? Well, actually, it, it's her husband's uh, niece. And she's also freaked out by me. She's like 13 or 14 or something. And I said some crazy shit or something. And she's like, like creeped out. That's, that was what Leopard says. She says, oh, yeah. And Ariana's creeped out by you, too. And I'm like, creeped out. But, you know, it's just weird that kids. Because like I said, dude, I you remember, man, when we talked to people that would talk shit, they were our, our new best friends, you know? I mean, it just kind of shows that you that. was before uh, computers became more trustworthy than actual people. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. Kids today are bred on computers, not on people. That's that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, you're right because they're so withdrawn and quiet. Yeah, and so they're like, oh, 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 you know, they get all fucking. Yeah, they stupid. don't know how to deal with people. Damn, that's fucking crazy, dude. Well, I know you were talking about that one time. I, I think it might have been on one of our shrink wraps where you were saying, you know, like we were more as kids. We ta- we were more in your face. We talked more shit. Where kids now, you know, they're just, they're scared. People would make fun of my disability in, as friends, and I would laugh and go, fuck you. And I would talk shit back to them. Yeah. I wouldn't be like, hey, my kid, hey, you freaking chick, you bitch, you bitch, you I felt bullied, or whatever, you know? No, I'd be like, fuck, you want to talk shit? All right, I'm going to roll back on you and you stupid shit in your life. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the, you know, popping your eye out to scare kids and shit like that. Well, you know what I mean? That was cool. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> you know, because the thing is, the kids that, you know, were uh, talking shit, they didn't think they had anything that they could be talking shit about. But then you, you fucking, like, like, like audit, uh, auditory shit. Like, I'm sure there's been times when you were a kid, you were like, who are you blind? You went, well, you sound like a book week You know what I'm saying? Because people sound stupid. Yeah. Oh, you know God, dude. A lot of these people were just dumb, you know. Yeah, like they're going, oh hey, 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 boy, boy, you can eat me, 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 me. You're going, what the fuck? You can't even fucking speak. Yeah, well, you're fucking retarded. What, whatever, <laughs> or just the nature of the shit they would say, like, oh, watch out for the wall, you know, and you, you know, there's no wall there, and you're like, you're a fucking idiot, dude. Shut up, you know. So, yeah. and uh, but you, you you didn't you know go and and complain that you've been. Uh, you know, yeah, you didn't go to the goddamn principal. I would every time I've been told. No, you are like this is how life works. It's almost yeah. like like now people think that that they have the right to change how life fucking works. Like, yeah. no, mm, I was feeling bad, so he needs to feel bad too because I was feeling bad. A- no, actually, th- we were- used to get fucking told the wrong fucking. Oh, go down this hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You used to get fucked with, like, you know. Oh, totally. Our kids yeah. would, like, I had a kid scream directly in my face one time. Oh, watch out for the wall! 
you know, and I was just like, oh, shut the fuck up or something, you know, I mean, that was just, that was it, man. I didn't go yeah. cry to the teachers or whatever. It was terrible. It was awful experience for you. Oh, it was, it was, no. I feel, I, I, oh, I, I was, I was I, actually, that reminds me, Jericho Green covered this shit, dude, about the, the <laughs> Sesame Street character that wouldn't um, talk to the black girl or something like that. No idea about now. Here's the thing that you wouldn't understand is the depth of vision of those uh -huh. fucking uh, uh, those uh, masks. They're not big. You can't see a lot of shit in those fucking huge ass fucking uh, masks on, that are on your shoulders. Oh, oh. You mean even when they're dressed up? You mean the characters? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. In other words. The characters, when they're dressed up, they can't see everyone at all at any time. Right. Because they're fucking literally having a big ass fucking head on their shoulders. Well, I guess, dude, it was a big thing. Like now yes. the girl is isolating and, and is, is traumatized because the Sesame Street character wouldn't talk to her. She's three fucking years old. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking kidding? Seriously? Like, no. Yep. It's parents because, dude. We have a problem of immature parents. Yeah, we, we have, have teenagers, we, adult yeah. teenagers. Yeah. And, they're, and they're not because they are adult teenagers. It's because they never actually had to deal with anything yeah. uh, hard. And so they went to the hall. I, well, I did go to college. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> right. Well, they're, that, but that's what I'm saying. They're adult teenagers in the sense of they still have a teenager's yes. mind yes. at they're, 30, they're, 40 years old. It's you like, know? this is why aren't you giving me this instead of why aren't I giving anyone else anything? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Because that's the truth. Yeah. Yep. Like, like, it's like, oh, well, why aren't you giving me? No. What, what are you giving to the community? Right. What are you? What's your give back? You know, yeah. or whatever. Well, I shouldn't have to give back. I should just get stuff because you know that's just me. I'm entitled. I'm to derb. So yeah. yeah, man, it's crazy. So, but yeah, your kids are pretty cucky now, man. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty sad. It's actually kind of scary. Like, damn, because I, dude, I actually think we might even outlive the the younger generation. We might. You know what I'm saying? Just because they're so snowflakey and weak and just like spineless and you're just like man dude we might outlive these fuckers that's crazy like these kids that are you know teenagers and in their 20s now we might wind up outliving them that's fucking crazy well it's interesting how uh, mental illness has just accelerated between our generations like oh yeah our, our generation you know what I, honestly i think we are actually pretty fucking I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I mean, I think we were just right on the cusp of that bullshit. Dude, you know what I mean? We're, we're still there, though. We're getting it because we, dude, come on, we're online all the fucking time. You're oh, online yeah. all the fucking time. I'm online all the fucking time. So it's not like we're, well, we we're, we were beyond that. We went before that. No, we are online all the fucking time. Yeah. So therefore, we are still caught up in the maelstrom of this crazy. I, I, I guess in some ways, you know, but uh, I think we still have a, a shut off switch. Well, you know? we have we have our one foot in the in the damn ground, like while the kids today don't have any. They have no other concept except this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah. You know, it just you're just like, wow, what what happened, man? Yeah. What, what happened to these kids? Just a different different world they're just uh yep. you know, they're so quiet and they're you don't even know they're there half the time because they're so in their little virtual world and actually they care more about what goes on in the virtual world than their real world like their house could catch fire and they don't give a fuck <laughs> you know the, their, their friends on twitter are, are talking shit about them that's more important so really? yeah dude it's pretty uh pretty wild shit then uh let me see what other stuffs is going on Oh, well, I, dude, I had a, actually, I've had a few drivers do this, switching into some paratransit irkery here, but uh, I had a, and, and, and okay, now this is some shit that actually, it, it pisses me off, but I mean, I'm not going to, you know, snowflake it up and, and get all pissed off, but I have had some drivers, you know, because I walk fast, 
And I like I had one this week and she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's like admonishing me like I'm a fucking three year old, you know, like I have some false sense of retard confidence or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? She's like, well, I don't want you to walk into the bus. And I'm like, I'm just going to walk up to the bus. She's like, well, yeah, but I'm not lined up directly with a curb. I'm like, "Okay, so I'll touch the bus, feel where where everything is and figure it out. You know, I mean, it's like, don't admonish me. Don't start yelling at me, you know, and and uh I had one driver tell me, well, you got a problem. I got a problem. It's called you're fucking being, you know, stupid. You're, you know, you're talking to me like I a think, three-year-old. I, I don't think people realize, like, but let's, let's, let's just say somebody's just chilling where you were at to get on the bus, right? Yeah. And they're chilling there. And they're, they're, there's no, they have no relation with you at all. But they're just watching shit going on. They may be sitting on a fucking uh, planter or whatever, you know, they're drunk, whatever. And they're going, oh, and you're getting lectured by the fucking bus driver. <laughs> right, right. Instead of being, and you're going, no, I know exactly what the fuck I want to do. I want, but but the, the, the person who's seeing that doesn't see, they see the lecturing, you know what I'm talking about. Right, they, so the they, lecturer they, is actually the person who's who's in the right in their mind, right? Maybe. Well, maybe, but but they don't know because they're just sitting there watching. Yeah, and, yeah. And so. you and you have to get on that goddamn bus, so you have to go from what they're saying and not what you're doing. So, like, let's say uh, someone's sitting there uh, watching you get on the bus, uh-huh. and you're like, oh, and then you're like, and, and you're up there in, in, in close, you're like, well, dude, I don't need help getting on the bus. Yeah, and they're like, you need help getting on the bus. And like, no, I don't. So, so like, like in other words, like they're like someone who's not in close pr- proximity of you is like watching this, going, oh, where he be, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> so, in other words, they're looking at it like, oh, you know, he's a he 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 needs to listen when they tell him he needs to listen. Exactly. Or is it, exactly. So. Because because that's what you you know they've been told. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, and like I said, it's the admonishment. You know, it's one thing when somebody's just talking to you like a tard, you know, I mean, you kind of expect that after a while and you're like, okay, whatever, you know, you're, you're stupid. But when they start the admonishing, you know, and yelling at you, you know, slow down, go slow. And I'm like, no, I got this, bro. I've been doing this for 46 years. I know, I know what's happening, you know, and, uh, I've had, I've actually had to argue with some drivers a few times, you know, like I told you, I had the one driver told me I got a problem. You have a problem. See, you know it's bad when, okay, you know it's them fucking being like self-aggrandizing when you are already doing something and then they come on and go, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you're already walking toward the fucking uh, entrance. Whoa, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. In other words, when they, they find it so amazing. Yeah, like, oh, so amazing because they want the recognition like helping you. Like, yeah oh i see oh. so it's a so it's a jesus points thing huh so maybe that's what it is maybe that's why they get angry with you because like no i want to help you yes exactly <laughs> wow that's interesting so they get really angry when you don't let them help you i guess huh yeah it, don't, it doesn't fit the narrative wow dude that's crazy so that's why they get angry yeah because dude I, like i said i've had a few like actually start admonishing me like yelling at me and shit you know like yeah after after in, in the beginning they were like yo and then you're like no i don't need your help like fuck you and yeah. then they start attacking you instead of actually fucking helping you. right then it turns into well i was I, i'm trying to help you i don't want you to walk into the bus like well the bus is running so i can hear where the fuck it is so i'm not gonna walk i'm not gonna just tar it out and you know and that's the thing too i think they think you have this like false sense of yeah. retard confidence or something you know i think they don't understand how you sense things oh that's a given that's, yeah. <laughs> that's obviously a given yeah like, like they they oh you see you might hear the bus going but does it really think the bus is going you're like yeah i know exactly when I know exactly how the bus sounds when it leaves as yeah. when it's idle. Like, you know when a bus is idle. Yeah, of course. You know it. Like, like there, what? You know when a bus Yes. How do you know that? Because no. you've been doing this for fucking 18, 20 years. Yeah, no shit. I mean, this is just part of life for me, you know? <laughs> That's how I get around. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, exactly. 
So, and, and yeah. And, and well, I've had to tell them that I said, I've been doing this for 46 years. I think I know what I'm doing. And they're like, well, yeah, I just don't want you to. And you're like, well, yeah, no, I, I got this. You know, like I said, the one that was yelling at me the other day, cause she was like, I don't want you to walk into the bus. And I'm like, well, walk into the bus. Right. Like, you know, like, gonna, boom. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're going to fucking smack face first to the bus. <laughs> like, you're just going, boop, 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 like, boop, boop, yeah. boop, 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 <laughs> Like, you're going to miss the fucking fact that uh, the, um, is it stairway up? <laughs> right? You're just going to totally <laughs> tart out. I ain't never done this before. <laughs> I'm going to go right to the bus. I'm going to walk into the bus. I'm Cooper. <laughs> fucking christ man it was ridiculous oh yeah so here's another thing man there was a um there was a, a girl i met another blinda um who actually was at uh washing machines party that i was at a few weeks ago and uh so we kind of started hitting it off she doesn't go to the blind center by the way a lot of those people that were there did or do but uh she didn't go she's she's not a and we were kind of sitting around talking shit about other blindos and you know like how the blind center tartifies people and and yeah we were having a pretty good conversation dude we we're kind of hitting it off pretty good so eventually we exchanged numbers and we've been texting a little bit and she's like yeah i really would like to hang out with you sometime and i'm like all right cool that that's good so uh oh, we we were uh texting this week and I said, well, why don't you, uh, why don't you meet me at the, the runner? Cause I figured, you know what, dude, the runner is a good place for me to do like a, it's sort of like a, a drill run. Like, okay. Can the, uh, now once these people are away, cause you know, we've, we've, I've made that mistake before where I thought somebody was a cool blindo and then all of a sudden you <laughs> get them out or, you know, among sighted people yeah. and they're just like fucking total bleatards. Yes. So, so I was like, okay, this would be a good way to test this person and see if they're, you know, if they're functional or how they'll do in a sighty situation so i had her come to the runner and uh, we had a great time last night man oh and she is digging me she pretty much came out and told me that last night <laughs> but she Wait. said she wants to get to know me a little better first and i'm like all right cool whatever you know so we'll see we'll see how that goes but your 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 main point of that was that you you were you took, took that chance and yeah yeah, well, like the the runner is a good place for me. To, it's a, sort of a testing ground, you know what I mean? Like I can say, oh, beat me at the rum runner, and then, then you know if they they're total tartified, then it's like, oh no, okay, this person's not somebody I want to. And she she is a blank, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. She, yep. Yeah. She gets up. She gets. She gets it. Yeah, she does. But you she know, it's, it's so interesting. This is why people go for the people in their fucking quote unquote uh, demographic because they get it. Mm -hmm. Like when you're when you're like oh fucking a blink oh a blink is a blind though by the way but yeah. when you when you go oh shit she understands okay right yeah it's like, it's like just it's like a one barrier that just just gone yeah yeah you well they, they they have to pass a test unfortunately it's it's sad you know because right away you want to you know go oh, I don't know about this man there's still a blind oh. You know, and that's the bad thing, dude. No, because... but they but they pass a test too. But you have to pass a test too. Oh, sure. Because, because basically, the whole point of, of of dating a blank is that you don't have to worry about explaining any of the blank shit. No, no, you don't have to tell them what you can and can't do and how yeah, you it's, it's you know. Very is it? That's why a lot of blind people date blind people, because right? Because you just don't want. <laughs> and, and you don't want, yeah, you don't want to the 20 question shit too you know where you go, you go out with somebody and they you go ahead, you <laughs> fuck, shut the fuck up yeah I wanna, we're going to fucking magic mountain <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly oh they just you know I, and I, I said that about somebody at one point i was like well you know i don't like the girls that go out and you know my my blindness is the main conversation piece and everything <laughs> is you know well, how do you do this? And how do you do, how, how do you get around? And, and you're just like, oh God, you know, and, and the analogy I would use, you know, like when I you hear some blindos complaining that, oh, well, she doesn't want to be with me because I'm blind. And I'm thinking, well, dude, that's a good thing in this case, because let's say you have a business and you got two potential uh, hires. One person is, knows the job inside out. They've done it for 20 years. They could do it standing on their head. They're totally up on game. Then the other person 
is just a fucking, oh, you know, I, I'd like to learn. I, I don't have any experience. Well, who are you going to pick? You know, so somebody you have to handhold and, and babysit and, and tell them what you can and can't yep. do. If someone knows exactly what they what, what Exactly. Yeah. 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 If they're up on game and they know what's up. So, yeah, that's why it's it's good to, to have somebody that you're like, oh, yeah, I know what the deal is with you. <laughs> you know, exactly. so but uh, but yeah, man, that's the meat of uh, the shit that I got, dude. I don't know if you had anything. I've been kind of running my mouth this whole fucking time. No, I don't really have much. Actually, okay. I'm, I think we roll with this. <laughs> all right. Just a little quick pop in just to let you all know we're, we're still alive. Damn sorry. <laughs> you know, and that we're still uh, still rocking, still going to be bringing you some some dope shit. We got our shrink wrap next week mm -hmm. with Louie Loke. I have a, a, I don't think we have a uh, overall theme for that, but I do. We do. Remember? We're going to talk about grief. That's right. Yeah. So, because grief is interesting, man. There's a lot of emotions behind it. It's not just straight up and it's not like oh I'm, I'm upset or unhappy it's like uh there's more to this actually so absolutely but uh all right well fuckers on that note i'm maxwell silverhammer and i am cruise control and, and that's, that's the, the story, story there, there. don't mind the delay you fuckers see ya We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. We are nothing sacred. With Maxwell Silverham. We are nothing sacred. With cruise control. We are nothing sacred. Sacred.